I'm Kayla Fim and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week it's from April the 8th to the 14th, which is exciting because on the 14th, it's my birthday and I'm gonna be 32. And actually, I told you last week, I was gonna tell you a little quick story about 32. 32 was the first number I ever saw. And it happened after I went through a massive breakup. That was my four year toxic relationship. And I kept seeing the number 32 and it, it actually scared me to the point I went to a psychic and I was like, what does this mean? And she's like, all right, darling, add two and three together. Two and three is five. Five is massive transformation. Um, and I met Peter when he was 32. I'm going to be 32 um, this week. And I always knew that 32 was going to be a really special year. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, this week we're going through two phases of the moon. So last week we went through the new moon in Aries, which is when you're starting to feel that fire within your belly. Things are going to be shifting for you. I had a look at, um, well, a closer look into the astrological events. Oh my gosh, you know how last week on Friday on the new moon, we saw the Three of Swords, which is quite painful. Um, and I went to look at Lada from astrolada.com, her YouTube channel, and she went quite in depth as to why that came about. And I was literally blown away because I've never read for a new moon like this one. It was just, I don't know, it just felt completely different. And she started speaking about healing ancestral karma. Um, and I was like, whoa, that's an area that I haven't yet learned enough about, but I find it's truly, really fascinating. Anyways, let's see what this means for you. We're using the Shadow Skates Tarot this week. So for Monday to Thursday, we've got the Crescent Moon, which is asking us to refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide you. Then from Friday to Saturday, Sunday, we move through the first quarter of the moon, which is the action phase of the moon. All right. So let's see what we need to know. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading collectively for a beautiful MK Love fam. Depending on where you are in the world, I'm reading for Monday. Wow. See, I said Monday and then all of these cards went flying. So the first card for Monday is, oh, okay, so the magician. So you have the power. Oh, this is interesting. This is also like knowing the direction in which you want to go through. Oh, and you've got the infinity sign above you. So there's infinite possibilities um, that's going to take you to this next level of healing in which you're at. Magician, you've got the power. You have the power to refine. It's like, what did, what did you actually say your intentions were? Or have you even set your intention, intentions yet? I like to simplify and just stay laser focused on one thing. What's the most important? What's the non-negotiable? What do I need to achieve by the end of this month? Is this a living situation? Is this family? Is this work? Is this something in relation to your business? What do you actually want to achieve? And just knowing that there can be miracles. You know that song, When You Believe from Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston? And there's like so many roses or some type of flower that's blossoming down the bottom. Now I'm hearing Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Bless my home and forever. Dun, 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 dun. Bloom and grow. Okay, there was a lot of cards that came up with that. I'm just gonna leave it. All right, let's see what we need to know for. No, my angels are saying more. Really? I got the power. Okay, clarity on the magician. I was told to bring two cards. There it is. It's very gentle, that one. Ooh, okay, so we've got the five of pentacles. This is not seeing the beauty in the situation, and this is like. Darling, just look up. Um, this could be you caught in the fear. Pentacles is abundance, so it's not you seeing the abundance. Maybe this is you not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. But you've got the tree trying to ground you and help you, but you, you've got your head. No, 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 no. Keep your mind. 
that Ben Howard? I read for someone a very long time ago and that was her anthem. I can't remember her name. So this is like staying, this is seeing the beauty in the situation and also the possibilities. Knowing that you, whatever you're going through, it's knowing that you're gonna get through it and there can be miracles, but you have to believe. Maybe this girl is like doubting herself. Maybe she doesn't actually believe she's going to get to where she wants to because she's still stuck in the same fear junkie stage going, but this is all I know. If this is all I know, then I can't really branch out. You know, I'm like married with children and I can't do this, this and this. It's like, but what, but what if you continue doing this same thing that you're doing all the time? You're not going to break the cycle. It's like you need to, I feel like this is inf I keep hearing the song when you believe. It's like you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that change is possible. You have to believe that you're going to get through this really, really difficult time in which you're going through. Tuesday is bold. Three cards for Tuesday. I'm going to pull the first one. If I need to pull the other two, I will. The Fool. This is a massive beginning. Refining the process. The Fool is like also considered... Um, Fool is like also like having the courage to do the things that scare the absolute bejeebus out of you. Let me see what else other things were in that one. Oh, okay. So the King of Wands and the Six of Swords. So King of Wands is like you've been through a lot of hurdles. You're starting again. This is passion projects too. Wands. And then you've got the Six of Swords you want to be taking away from all the pain. Okay. So you have gotten to a level of wands, what does wands mean for you? Your creative talents and abilities, working with and for people you love. Maybe this has a lot to do with career. Maybe you're really, really strong in career, but in family, you're falling apart. It's like you're strong in one area. Maybe, oh, I never read that before. Maybe you're really strong in the career sector, but this is a general reading, so this is hard to read collectively, but I just feel like some of you may be strong in one area, but in terms of like the challenges and the obstacles, you want it to be take away. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. You want to fly away. Take me to church. Dun, 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 dun. Shana, mm, 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 mm. You can sharpen your knife. So it's like you want to. It's like you want to have the reset. It's interesting that we got the fool and the magician because they're at the very beginning of the dreamer's journey in which you're headed. All right. How is that interesting with refining? I feel like it's like you have to believe. It's like, okay. You set this intention, but now you have to be like, okay, can I actually achieve it? So what steps are you actually planning out? The refining is like the crescent moon. To me, I call it like the the planning stage. And I feel like some of you are like, oh, this is kind of a bit scary. Okay, Wednesday, you got the strength card, knowing that you can achieve it. The strength is like the Katy Perry song. I got the eye of the tiger, the fighter. Because I am a champion. And you're going to hear me roar. Yeah, you're going to hear you roar, but you have to do the planning. You have to take yourself seriously. And then I heard the song, you gotta keep it separated. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Separate. What are you separating? You have to separate something. Ooh, that's interesting. You gotta keep it separated. Yeah. That's the only bit I can hear of the song. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Okay. So Thursday. So Thursday is still in the refining stage of the moon. So what are you refining? So this is amazing. So this is like you're beginning something new. You have to... You have to believe that miracles can come true and you have to find that inner strength to continue with your planning. Oh, okay. Uh, what are we on again? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So we have the page of swords. And then I heard that song. I'm not a stranger to the dark. Fire away, we say. We don't want your broken part. But this is like you've been through a lot, but you're also like, I'm not going to take any shit from you. Like you, like, it's like you're changing. It's almost like you're changing into a butterfly, but it's like you're going through the stage where you're not yet the butterfly, but you're kind of like putting in the boundaries to be like, okay, the strengths, maybe it's strengths. 
that are coming from it is you keeping it separated, separating yourself, becoming the one of deep introspection and connecting to yourself. Page of Swords is like being taken away, but it's also like she's got the sword and it's like she can use it at any time. So it's like, don't test her, but she's also like retracting and like protecting her vibration. But I just feel like don't, don't, you're not going to allow people to cross the boundary. You're protecting your vibration. Um, I just want more clarity on the Page of Swords. That was very quick. The King of Pentacles. So a huge <laughs> new level of abundance. That's a big deal. Like that's a really big deal. The King of Pentacles is very grounded. He's got the big pentacle above his head, but he's like, he's also a giver too. Giver, as in like you always give, 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 but giving within your own limits, protecting your vibration. I keep hearing you gotta keep it separated. Okay, let's keep going on so we can piece together more of this story and then we'll pull the card of the week so I can figure out this. So this is now for Friday, which is the first quarter of the moon, the action. Oh my gosh, we have the nine of pentacles. So this is like your, I love this card. The nine of pentacles is like, you know, the abundance in which you now currently have. You had to um, type right, we, I risk it all for this life we choose. And it's all an adventure, it comes with our breathtaking view. So this is like the tightrope in which you had to walk. You were prepared to surrender, to lose it all, to risk it all for this life that you choose. Oh, so we've got the kind of same elements as you're taking action. It's like if there's hurdles, it's like you're like, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the lesson? I'm moving forward. It's like nothing is stopping you. I feel like when, when you look at the when you look at the um, the King of Pentacles, his arms are out like this. It's like I, I've surrendered to the process. I've been through all of the crap, and it's led me to where I am today. But don't you mess with me because I've got this eye of the tiger. And it's that you're at this, but also you've got the star here, which is like this beautiful light, that, that glimpse of hope that we were talking about earlier on. It was like, you know that these dreams and these, and these miracles are going to happen. You're believing in yourself and you're like, you know, there's an obstacle, bring it flipping on. And you're just like, it's like, you're not afraid to fail. You know, you're like, if there's a hurdle, it's okay. You pick yourself back up and you keep going. It's like, don't stop me now because I'm having a good time. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's see what we need to know for Saturday. Oh, this is interesting. Energy is very different. Saturday, so this is the action. I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So I feel like Friday, if there's anything that comes up, you're like, boom, you're just playing that beautiful piano. You're doing the things that make you feel good. And you're like, you know, that, um, oh, I'll have to insert it on the screen. There was something I saw the other day. It was like, you know, if, if somebody gave you, the, if you had this amount of money in your bank account and you took out this amount, are you actually gonna care? You'll be like, no. And then they relay it into like the seconds of the day. You have this amount of seconds of the day. If someone pisses you off and says something horrible about you, or you take this detour, is it going to ruin the rest of your day? Was it a bad day? Or was it a bad 10 seconds? It's about perspective and working with the contrast and knowing that this is where you need to go. And no one's going to throw you off the path. You have the eye of the tiger. You have that inner strength and you believe that miracles truly are possible. Whoa, that was lovely. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So Saturday, what do you need to know for Saturday? Ah, okay. Saturday, <laughs> as you're taking action, we've got more contrast coming up, but you're just like, you're just powering through it. So Friday and Saturday, I feel like as you're embarking on whatever it is you're shifting, there's going to be challenges that are coming up, but you're like, bring it. All right. Sunday, my birthday. I'm going to be 32. I'm so excited. Damn it, I second guess myself. Angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know for Sunday? Bah! Okay, I feel like I need to pull the one that's by itself. This kind of, maybe these are my clarity ones, but this one was by itself, so I'm gonna take it. You ready for it? 
can touch this. Da, da, da. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Okay, that makes sense because we've got the King of Wands before. Ace of Wands is beginning something new. Yes, we know that. There's that fire. The fire is in your belly. <sighs> How many cards is that? Five, five massive transformation. I'm gonna pull the first one and see if I need any more. Flippin' heck, the justice card. <laughs> You're restoring the balance. I'm just gonna keep pulling. Hermit, introspection, queen of swords, working through the contrast. The moon, healing the darkness, which, and then eight of wands, speaking it into existence. Weren't there a lot of similar cards to last week? Hold on a moment, let me look at my screen. We, we had no Homer card last week? No. Oh, okay. I'm like, I feel like these cards are very similar. We've had so much to do with justice. This is now the fourth month talking about restoring the justice. What injustices have been caused to you that you're now rectifying? This injustice could literally be healing. Healing what has been, it's a lot to do with healing. Of course it's healing what you're doing. And when, as you, okay, this is all about you healing. This whole, the, so you're planning things and it's scaring the bejeebus out of you. Like, can I actually do it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're healing the darkness. You're speaking into existence what you want. You're beginning this new healing journey. You're taking time away. Remember, I keep, I heard the song, gotta keep it separated. Yeah. Whatever the lyrics are to that, but I freaking love that song. The Queen of Swords, you've been through it all. You're healing that beautiful inner child. You're now at a stage of like, she's wearing white, which symbolizes purity. You want to heal and find that purity within yourself. The, the moon is a beautiful card because like, have a look closely. One hand, she's holding the moon while taking off the mask. I don't know if some of you have read the book, The Mask of Masculinity by Lewis Howes. I haven't listened to it yet, but Peter's listening to it on audio which I would love to listen to as well. So it's like you're taking the mask off and as you're healing, you have to see on her hand, there is a heart that is um, like wrapped around her hand to be like, see only love, take the mask off and just feel the love. And sometimes as you take that mask off, it's not going to be easy. It can be very painful and healing pain and trauma and trauma, well, childhood trauma in particular is what I specialize in. It's not rainbows and lollipops. If you listen to Eva's video testimonial at the end of last week's weekly angel guidance, you would know that she says, this is not all like rainbows or lollipops and sunshine. Healing is difficult, but it's a commitment that you need to make to yourself. All right, let's see what the focus card for the week is. Oh, this is amazing. Angels, what do my beautiful MK Love fam need to focus on collectively for the week? Um, let me pull my notes up again. April the 8th to the 14th. What's the focus for them? What do they need to focus on? So a lot to do with healing. If it's a three of swords, I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> what do they need to know? They're telling me to shush. Now my head is felt like jumbly. What do they need to know to focus on for this week? Can you fall out one card, please? Thanks. King of Swords, dealing with your contrast, getting to the end of a level of healing. The King of Swords has been through a lot and he has gotten to a stage where he can look back at his pain, at his pain and say, thank you. Thank you to that, that teacher that said this to me in year five. Thank you to that toxic relationship. Thank you to that incident that happened when you were sexually abused when you were five years old. Thank you for... Um, I don't know, what other stories have I heard this week? It's, 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 it's like being through it all, but it's made you stronger. Thanks for making me a fighter. Fighter. Christina Aguilera. That's your anthem for the week. Let me just type in, my computer is so far away because I wanted to share the table this week, but I can't really move in this jacket. It kind of looks good, but it's not really practical. So I hope I don't bust the seam. <laughs> Um, hold on. Christine Aguilera. God, I love her. I can just see the film clip. Ugh. Um. All that stealing and cheating, you probably think that I hold resentment from you, but uh-huh, you're wrong because it wasn't for all, uh, for all that you 
tried to do, I wouldn't know just how capable I am to pull through. Yeah, you hear that? You are capable to pull through. That's a magician. Believing that there is miracles makes me so much stronger, makes me work a little bit harder, makes me so much wiser. So thanks for making me a fighter. I've got goosebumps. Oh my God, I can feel the emotions now. Made me learn to be a bit faster, made my skin a little bit thicker, makes me so much smarter. Thanks for making me a fighter. This week is about fighting for your vibration. Oh, I feel the pain. It's about fighting for you. The injustice that has been caused to you. Restoring that negative karma. <laughs> restoring whatever injustice. I heard restoring the injustice that has been done to you making you that fighter. Listen to that song after this weekly angel guidance. I'll link it in the live chat. If you're on the live chat, I'll link it for you. If not, I'll put it down um, in the comment section. Listen to that lyrics because this is about restoring the injustices that have been done for you and knowing that you can breathe at the end of this and you can look back and get and be that king of swords and say, thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of the shit you've been through. What is coming up for you right now? What emotion has this stirred? What was the first thought that triggered? What are you fighting for? As I said last week, you know that fight song? Take back my life song, prove I'm a right song. Da -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, what other lyrics is there? Never saw it coming, all of your backstabbing. Ugh. Wow. We don't need to read the lyrics anymore. It's a little bit sad, but it's like knowing that you're going to get your power back, but you, you've got a lot of work to do. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. If you're struggling, and I say this every single week, I can help you, but I need to know that you are at the stage where you want to heal. Not just saying, I like the idea of healing Mel. And then when I go to speak to you, you chicken out. I'm looking to work with people that are like, there isn't, I have no other plan B, C, or D. There is only a plan A. If you need help, I can help you. I can help you. I have free exclusive training, which is a 20 minute video I tell you about every single week. And I'm not going to stop because there's always going to be something that you can heal. I literally, once, once you go through the training, you then have the opportunity to book a free 45 minute session with me. Everyone that books doesn't have the opportunity to book, to, to speak with me. You can book, but then I will approve your booking to see if I want to speak to you or not. If I decline your application, it's because we're not an energetic match at this stage. I don't mean forever. A lot of the reasons most people get rejected is because they don't have the financial means to invest in themselves. I've said this a million times, working with me is not cheap it's not cheap but this is an investment in yourself i can teach you to to literally change your life within eight weeks but you need to be willing to do the work if that floats your boat please book in with me because i would love love to work with you anyways my love i'm wishing you so much love and strength and to find that fighter within you um yeah this is an amazing week this is this is a lot of healing that you're doing for this moon cycle. So I'm interested to hear about what you are manifesting. So in the comments, what I would love for you to type right now is I am so happy and grateful now that, and so this is in present tense, I am so happy and grateful now that, and insert what you are going to manifest. Not, not saying I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm learning to blah, blah, blah. I want you to say, I am so happy and grateful now that I have freed myself from all of that I was gonna swear then and say the F word. I have to watch my language. I'm so happy and grateful now that I've freed, freed myself from all of the toxicity that has kept me in this silent state. So many of you have throat chakra blockages. Whatever it is, write it down. I'm gonna wait for you. I am so happy and grateful now that I'll pop it on the screen to help you as a sentence starter. Can't wait to read them all if you join me on the live chat thank you thank you thank you once again i love chatting with all you beautiful souls it's amazing this it's so interesting because now i chat to you in my pajamas um with my laptop in my bed um this week i will actually be in a little hotel with my beautiful husband having a little night away which is exciting um yeah so excited for you my loves have an amazing week 
And if you need help, check, check out my free exclusive training or melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training. And if that doesn't float your boat, no problem. Join me on Instagram and I'll be chatting with you throughout the week. Sending you beautiful voice messages and my private messages. I just love it. And I will talk to you next week. I just feel like I want to give you a hug. Oh, I love you. Bye. <laughs>